Look at that one. That one's big. Can I go to it? Oh, can I ride it? Oh, look at it. It's so big. Hey guys, welcome. My name's Lion. Let's continue our adventures with Journey. Or let's continue our journey. I remember in the last episode, we encountered these Atlantis underwater type of monsters. I want to say they weren't monsters. They were like colossal, almost guardians floating in an underground temple that we fell from and we actually got to see that the ancient white being that i'm calling it gave us a glimpse on what's to come i think we were in some type of sandstorm or something like that that we're about to encounter i don't know uh that's what i'm thinking oh wow Oh, wow. We gotta get out of here. We're deep underground, aren't we? What is this place? Can you imagine how long... It, it might have taken to build this place? Gosh. This is... This is crazy. Alright, so I, I'm seeing something here. What is this, like hieroglyphs? Let's see what it entails. Oh. What? What is this? I can fly. Oh, wait a second. So under this mist, I can float infinitely. But above the mist, I can only float as long as my scarf. Okay. And I'm supposed to go up. Okay. Uh, I'm reading the room. I am reading the room. Grow, baby. Let's go. Oh, you guys, where are we going? Wait, 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 wait. I have to keep going up. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to see what's... Oh, I see, I see. Go. So we just have to continue to... Light up the hieroglyphs, maybe. Go. What's this one show? Ah, oh, jellyfish. This one shows those ribbons that always ping like this for me to follow. And they're showing me this architect. Oh man, this is... Oh my god, you guys, this is... This is wonderful. This is beautiful. I know you guys, I, I'm, I'm enchanted. I know you guys are just seeing me right now. Maybe on your phone, maybe in the laptop, TV, I don't know, but... I implore you to play this if you haven't already I know this is an older game and I just been behind rocks and I'm just playing older games just to catch up uh, I'm an adult that has been working for such a huge part of his life and now that I'm having more time I get to experience these beautiful games that I missed out on in the past and I get to experience it with you guys and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart it means the world that we're going through this together. So I'm, I'm noticing that in these hieroglyphs, I keep having a partner. I feel like I'm going to... Oh, look at that one. That one's big. Can I go to it? Oh, can I ride it? Oh, look at it. It's so big. Oh, hey, big buddy. Can you go above? You can. 
Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see. Maybe I have to light you up and help you? Ah, yeah. Let me give you some energy. Wait, wait. I see. I see. I got I to gotta depart from you, my friend. Give me a second. Gosh, my scarf is growing really long, isn't it? Look at that. Just flowing in the wind. Okay, now what? Where'd he go? There you are. Come on. Where are we going, buddy? Up, 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 up. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Come on, come on. Yeah. All right. We got to get this whale of a ribbon up. Up, up, up. That actually looks like the broken bridge that we crossed. No, no. I'm seeing. The hieroglyphs is telling me what I'm supposed to do next. Ah. This is awesome. And the orchestra, the soundtrack behind to this game is immaculate. It's such a, it's a beautiful thing, you guys. Oh my gosh. Feel emotional playing this you guys i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the soundtrack but i feel like my eyes are all getting watery and stuff it's just such a such a beautiful tree sand surfing i think up up i think we have enough light in our ribbon come on come on come on no no Come on, come on. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where'd the, where'd the big ribbon monster go? I'm calling it monster. It was a beautiful, majestic beast. All right. What's to come? Tell me. Tell me my future. This is interesting. It's almost like I was collecting wisdom. The night sky. I know that's supposed to represent me. That's the path I've taken. That's the beginning of the game. That's the broken bridge. That's where I met the ribbons to. This is my story. This is the sand surfing. This is where we fell. The monsters are the guardians that we encountered. And this is the tower. And now. We're gonna fight terrible winds to get to the top of the mountain. The entire time the hieroglyphs was telling me what I was going through. And here I thought. What is on the top of that mountain? Concludes this chapter. Wow, this is again. I I find myself repeating the same thing over and over, but such a whimsical tale. And yet, there's zero dialogue indicating anything. I love games like this because it embodies and it really stays strong to building good body language and environmental storytelling. 
games like these show why indie developers should never be overlooked and i'm excited for this anyways you guys check out some of my videos subscribe like let me know what you guys think and i can't wait for our next adventure and i'll catch you in the next one